हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल साइंस फॉर एग्रीकोस फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट द न्यूट्रिएंट्स इट्स रोल इन प्लांट्स डेफिशिएंसी सिम्टम्स एंड टॉक्सिसिटी सिम्टम्स दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट इन एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो आई हैव कंपाइल्ड ऑल द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स नोट डाउन द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स वाइल वॉचिंग द वीडियो सो दैट इट विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर योर प्रिपरेशन वॉच द वीडियो टिल एंड टू गेट बेनिफिटेड एंड गिव योर कॉमेंट्स इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन Now let's start the video. Let's start now with nitrogen. Nitrogen and its role in plants. It encourages vegetative growth. It imparts green color to the plants. It is an essential constituent of protein and plays an important role in the synthesis of auxin. The deficiency symptoms are usually lower leaves turn yellow or light green and V-shaped chlorosis is noticed on older leaves, yellowing at the tip. the disease or disorder due to nitrogen deficiency is starvation disease and next one is important one buttoning in califlor the toxicity is extreme dark green color leaves are noticed on the plant now let's learn about phosphorus phosphorus enhances new cell formation in the plants it is an essential constituent of nucleic acid and phytin it is required for grain formation it is required for maturity of grains and it helps in energy transfer like atp and adp deficiency symptoms usually dark green color in leaves is noticed bronzing appearance on older leaves and red purple discoloration on leaves of maize the disorder is sickle leaf disease toxicity symptoms excess of phosphorus interferes with the plant absorption of iron manganese and zinc now let's learn about other nutrient that is potassium Potassium is known to involve in the stomata regulation. The next point is very important. It provides disease and drought tolerance in plants, or it, it provides the disease resistance. Next, it involves in the formation and translocation of sugars. It helps in reducing the transpiration rate and increasing the photosynthetic rate. It acts as a cofactor for many enzymes. Next, if potassium deficiency is seen in the plants. then the symptoms will be like spot of dead tissues at tips of leaves and scorching and burning on the margins of bottom leaves disease or disorder is rosette or dieback disease is usually associated with potassium deficiency toxicity too much of potassium leads to nitrogen deficiency now calcium calcium is the constituent of cell wall usually terminal but dies in case of calcium deficiency the disease or disorder is tip hooking and curled margins on leaves and blossom end rot in tomato toxicity affects uptake of other nutrients then magnesium you all know that magnesium is a central atom of chlorophyll deficiency symptoms are mottling and chlorosis of leaves reddish upward curling of leaves the disease due to magnesium deficiency is sand brown disease in tobacco toxicity symptoms usually leaf size will be reduced and overall growth will be stunted next sulfur sulfur improves oil content in oil seeds and improves protein content in pulses so it is most important for oil seeds and pulse crops this is an important objective and it is an essential constituent of amino acid like cysteine cysteine and methionine control is spraying of thiourea which uh, it is helpful to control the deficiency of nitrogen and sulfur together the deficiency symptoms are usually similar to nitrogen deficiency but no spots are seen on the young leaves leaves turn pale green or light yellow the disease due to sulfur deficiency is t yellow disease and excess of hydrogen sulfide causes acuity disease in rice now let's learn about iron it acts as an enzyme in oxidation reduction process it acts as oxygen carrier in the process of respiration it is essential for nitrogen fixation as it is a catalyst of chlorophyll synthesis the deficiency symptoms are intervenal chlorosis yellowing of leaves and scorching of leaf margins the disorder is iron chlorosis in groundnut toxicity symptoms excess of iron disrupts the cellular homeostasis coming to copper and manganese copper is essential for photosynthesis or respiration it is a compound of plastocyanin deficiency symptoms are rosetting and excess gumming chlorosis of tips and margins of young leaves the diseases that are associated with copper deficiency are gummosis and xanthema disease of citrus dieback and reclamation disease of citrus next coming to manganese it is a cofactor of enzyme and it is essential for formation of chlorophyll deficiency symptoms are 
leaf chlorosis but smaller vein is green and dead spot on the leaves. The diseases due to manganese deficiency are pahala blight of sugarcane, grey spike of barley or oat and marsh, marsh spot of pea. The toxicity symptoms are crinkled leaf of cotton. Now let's learn about boron. Boron is essential for pollen germination, for translocation of sugars. It is involved in reproduction and germination of pollen. It regulates intake of water in the cell and it is a regulator of potassium ratio and keeps calcium available in the soluble form in the plants. The deficiency symptoms are browning or hollow stem in cauliflower, top sickness in tobacco, dieback and rosette of apples and fruit cracking of tomato, pomegranate, hard fruit of citrus and hen and chicken disease of grapes. These all the deficiency symptoms or disease or disorders are very important. Now let's learn about zinc and molybdenum. Zinc is essential for the biosynthesis of hormones. The deficiency symptoms or disease or disorder due to deficiency are rosette formation, white bed of maize, chira disease of rice, little leaf of cotton and apple, mottled leaf of citrus. Next, molybdenum is the essential com component of the enzyme nitrate reductase. It helps in nitrogen fixation of pulses. It helps in the sweetness in carrot and radish. Deficiency symptoms usually molybdenum deficiency causes whip tail in cauliflower. Friends, for more important videos like this, subscribe to the channel Science for Agricos. And if you want to suggest any important topics to make a video like this, you can comment in the comment section. If you find the video to be useful, like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel Science for Agricos for more useful content. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook.